Hey guys, my name is Peter. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is, well, you already know. It's a Zara haul. That's like all I do. <laughs> what I do all day is go on my laptop, study, and shop at Zara since I don't leave the house. If any of you guys are wondering how I can afford to have so many things coming into Zara, it's that I don't leave the house and I live at home very free. <laughs> Plus, I do have savings and I don't keep everything, I do try and be as transparent as possible um, in saying what I actually keep, what I don't, and the fact that if I like something, I won't always keep it. I may just wait until the sales, like right now, we're only a couple of weeks away from the sales, so I wouldn't see much point keeping anything right now, because most likely, in like a month's time, it will be like half the price. That's just the truth, okay? But we're here to see what the things look like for on the real person because the website is weird all right that's a lot of talking oh actually i forgot one more thing the dress that i'm wearing if you're interested it's from free people i will try and find a link but that's enough talking let's get the clothes on <laughs> this piece is incredibly annoying because it's perfect it's so me if you know me you know i love white even though it stresses me out i love it i think it looks gorgeous on me however it's so see-through like the top you can see I would have to wear like a, a tank, a, a, a braless tank top underneath this black. Oh, and it's a bit tight. I think I need to go up to size medium. Because the top is, yeah, I need to go up a size. The pants, I got them in a medium. Um, I have something similar, but not like a matching color. The pants are okay, but look at them, they're so see through. I know I'm wearing underwear that is striped, but even if I wore black, you would still see it. So for the money you're paying for this, it's it's annoying. I wouldn't spend the money that they're asking because the quality is not there. The pants are £45 and the top, I believe, is 30 But it's see-through. Maybe on different color, um, skin colours, it might not show as much because I am a bit darker. So maybe if you're a bit lighter than me, it might not be as bad. But for me, this is not worth it. I may consider it in the sales if it's apologies my camera is for to go delete some things yeah potentially if I see this in the sale for a good price I may get it but this has to be a medium because this is too tight let's get this off and get to the next piece so if you are potentially getting married and you don't want to spend an arm <laughs> So if you're potentially getting married and you want to keep the budget really, really small for your dress, because honestly I think weddings are just OTT, you can spend the money elsewhere. Sorry, I'm wearing the wrong underwear. This is a potential option from Zara. It's so beautiful. The only thing is the chest area. I would definitely get um, something to cover up the nipples. And have a good bridesmaid to let you know if <laughs> it goes a bit low. Yeah, for me, it wouldn't work as the booby area. I have to size up to a medium. This is a size small. I don't know if the medium would still look as nice. I'll have a look. I'll have a try when I get into Zara. I'm going away in, um, to Italy, so I'm sure I will have a chance to go into Zara, but I don't know. Because, you know, when you're in, it, in Italy, do you really want to go to Zara? Or would you rather go to, like, an Italian shop again? Like, Italian handbag and shoes, you know? Um, the dress. I'll show you the back so I can fit it with the front. I got it in a size small. I can't see the back. Oh, it's forty-five pounds, so it's a great price. Fabric is satin and it feels so so soft. It looks great on me. It has a zip on the side here, and then this bra effect to put it on and off. I really like it. Just the booty area for me is a bit too much. Something nice and colourful. This green dress. I know it is a nice iron. I love the ruffles, I love the colour, it's giving me beach vibes. I haven't been to the beach in so long. We were supposed to go in Italy, but we realised that the beach is quite far away from Pisa. Um, because we were travelling by train and just a lot because we'd be carrying bags. We're going to visit Pisa, leaving the tower of Pisa first, probably get lunch. And the idea of, you know, travelling for an hour to the beach and then an hour back to Pisa and then an hour back to Florence just too much so next time for the beach 
Oh, I don't even actually know when next time will be. <laughs> Maybe we'll do something in August because we will be here in the UK. We won't be travelling outside of the UK for August because we don't want to be abroad with all the kids. <laughs> oh, you never know. We might change our minds, but most likely we'll stay here. We're going to the Lake District. Um, we may go to like Cornwall as well. Oh, this... I was busy talking. This is £60. Quite expensive. I think this item will end up in the Zara sale. If it hasn't sold out by now, then it's definitely going to be the Zara sale. But I think it's really, really gorgeous. The colour is striking. This outfit looks so much nice on the website. I don't think it's as nice on... Oh, I think it's actually my bra. My bra is wrong size. It's 32D and I'm a 34D. So I think the pain was coming from my bra. Or that top. Anyways, yeah, this is not as nice on. It looked so much better on the website. So it's a complete return because it, it looks cheap to me. I believe it's 50 quid and it does not look like a 50 pound dress. This is a thing bizarre, like, I feel like they have a standard price for their dresses and a lot of the dresses are not hitting the quality that I think is needed for the prices. Um, but they just want to keep their prices like that. But this is an item you see in the sale and I would probably leave it as well. I don't I think there's so many other better items that you could pick up in the cell. You don't need the whole wardrobe from Zara. You just need a few good pieces. And this is not one. Yeah, it's got a slit in the front and you tie it up here. Very sexy. Maybe with a belt. I don't even know. Another girl may be able to stand this a bit better, but not me. Oh righty, another day of Zara Collar. We fat. Size small. Thighs are hurting and I can't zip it up. I'm trying and I don't want to break the zip. The body feels like it's been sucked in. <laughs> so this does not work for me, unfortunately. I really liked it and I thought it would be so nice. Something different because I always wear dresses and I wanted to wear a jumpsuit. Although they're horrible when you're trying to use the toilet. But imagine me trying to do this every time I want to go to the loo. Struggling with the zip. Doesn't work. I can maybe try a size medium. Um, but yeah. <laughs> It's quite nice and I quite like the back if I could have put it on something different. It is 40... 50 pounds. 32 pounds for this. Zara's taking the... <laughs> this is not worth 32 pounds. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to size small, wait for the sale, please. Please. Because it's kind of giving me like pretty little thing vibes. Anyways, that's the end of the Zara, the Zara haul. As you can see, Zara's had some audacity. Oh, actually, I forgot this dress, but I couldn't put it on, and it's white. And I didn't want to put it over my head because I'd probably end up ruining it. So, these kind of dresses, I just return them. If I can't put them on, then I, there's no point in me keeping them because most of the time I will do my makeup before, and I don't want to struggle to get something on me. Like, 32 pounds is a lot of money. I could buy. A very beautiful dress for that kind of money so yeah that's the end and i'll see you soon thank you so much for your support don't forget to subscribe comment like just give me some love <laughs>